All right, let's talk about images. So again, images are the last thing you want your student to spend time with for a couple of different reasons. One, the time you get to the images, you know, it's probably getting to be crunch time, right? They don't have as much time as they did whenever they started the project. So because it's crunch time, they'll spend less time on it, which is what we want. I mean, like, unless your student's like a graphics designer, we don't need it to be, you know, the eighth world wonder of digital aesthetics, right? So let's take a look. There's two ways you can add images on a Google site. One, you could use free images available to Google users, which is pretty easy, but your it's it's pretty easy and a viable option, but your choices are a little limited. So you can pick your theme first before you even get to images. I did that by clicking on these little shapes here for the background. You know, if you want something, if you want something different like that. However, what I do is I'll click right here where it says image, and then I'll go to select. This is to use the free images that Google has. All right, so we want to go to search and let's say photos of teens exploring the outdoors. This works. You know, if there's something, if there's something better that, you know, captures what you're trying to, uh, you know, communicate better, of course, do that. But the main thing is you want people in as many images as possible. Okay. You want the human beings there. Uh, now we'll hit select there. Okay. You know, could it be better? Sure. Right. But it works. All right, now, sometimes you can just take your title and put it in the search and see what happens. Select image. All right, just kidding. From drive. Okay, now we're going to check on images for the content blocks. Often, I'll just copy and paste this and see what happens. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We're going to click on Google Images. Sometimes it shows things, sometimes it doesn't. not getting a good feeling about these selections, right? So I might put stressed out teen. That looks good. Unlock the secrets of nature. Do the same thing. Uh, not really getting a good vibe here. So let's go to the joy nature. Any of these could work. We'll go with that one for now. Again, I don't want students to spend as much time on these. Now, uh, when it comes to, like, let's say you're not really liking a lot of the images that Google is recommending. You can then, uh, an external platform to find images. Many of you probably already have your favorite ways to do that. I typically use Canva. While I have a paid account, there's a lot of free stuff on here, right? So I'll say website images.
doesn't really matter which one you pick. Let's go with this one for now. Let's go with Miss Fashion Blog. All right. Don't care about any of these. Okay. So I might go to, well, first off, I would go to elements. Then I might click on numbers. One. And then I would download that and then you know, I could possibly stick it right here, right? So that there'd be a number and I could keep going, right? But let's say I wanted to do something a bit more specific. Canva, I could put teens enjoying the outdoors and I'd probably get better images than what Google would give me. Yeah, so this totally, that would totally work, right? Uh, so that is it regarding images. Now, one thing that I spoke briefly about on the webinar was the about page. An about page, you typically want a picture of the student. That's going to be really, really, really important. Honestly, go with the yearbook picture. Go with maybe like a casual, like what, what you would see on like a casual in your pick, right? You know, if it's a, if it's a guy, just him chilling out in a polo, smiling at the image. If it's a, if it's a girl, just, you know, just an image of, you know, something she might post on Instagram. That's not too informal, right? So that summarizes everything regarding the images. So there's two ways. You can upload your own photos from an external platform like Canva. Uh, Pexel is another good one. Uh, I know that ChatGPT through Dolly, through Dolly 2 can upload good images as well. And then also you can use Google, images that are available on Google sites that you can use uh, for free. Hope that's helpful and best of luck.